I seen the clip actually, and uh, I intro with this. I seen the clip, and it was a dude talking to some women, and they was talking about when a dude, when a man is going through something, he keeps it into himself. He don't want to talk about it. He deal with it because the more that he talks about it out loud, the more real and the worse it makes it, it gets for him, and it's vice versa for women. They get relief, and it builds their estrogen levels when they talk about their problems and get it out and talk about it out loud. So I was thinking about that the other night because I've been thinking like I'm going to Skank Fest at Vegas and everything on some comedy stuff. I ain't never been to nothing like this. I'm supposed to use all these connections and go out here and hopefully people recognize me and see me and all of this stuff, whatever, right? And I found myself being fuck. I found myself being very, very terrified, scared, fear, bro. I don't know why. I'm not usually scared to go on stage. But I'm so scared to go on stage or so scared to go out here and things don't go how I think they're going to go because I don't have a plan. And I'm used to always having a plan. When I go somewhere, I know it's going to play out this way. Bam, bam, bam. It's an order that's taken care of and it's not taken care of. Like besides, you know, flight, all the regular stuff I need. But when I go to this event, I got a ticket for a day. I want to stay the whole weekend. I'm told that I can stay the whole weekend. I know some a lot of comments that's going to be there. What are the chances out of all this chaos that's going on, I'm going to go there and then see these people, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, Craig, you good, blah, blah, blah. Then I can go there the next two days and get treated like a comic the same way I get treated up here, all the way out there where I've never been before and nobody know me. Oh, it's terrifying, bro. And I hate that it's terrifying. The other side to that, because that's the failure part, right, that they won't notice me. I'm scared that what if it worked and it changed my life? What if it worked and I start doing stuff that's great that I'm not used to? I think that you could win also it be either way, bro. I think that's a better conversation, but I think you eat those scenarios, you win in either way. If you went there for one day and was there for three days and just and nobody knew you, you still get the experience of seeing what that's like. You still get the experience of seeing other comedians live and seeing how they work the crowd. That's not an L. That's a win. If you got there and somebody was like, yo, you're really good. We want you to come on tour with us or whatever, and it changed your life. That's a that's a that's an astronomical win. That's like, oh, this this one supposed to happen like this. That's scary. That's the scary part, because now what do I do with family? What do I do with work? What do I do with my career? What do I do with my podcast? What do I do with my show? Like that becomes more scary. Do I just fully go into here? Yeah. What life if I change. life changing? I lose friendships. What if this, I can't talk to this person as much like that is like what you actually scared of yeah. actually going there and just having an experience, no matter if they knew you and you have to pay for the other two days, you're going to gain something from that. You're going to win from that. Yeah. That's not an L. Yeah. You're right, man. You're right. I just need to get out of my head about just it. Just in your head about it. But, oh, man, that's been bothering me. I can't curse like I want to, but that's been me up. Like, because I never feel like this. Never. You know what it is? Oh. It's, 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 a, it's anxiety, bro. Because usually you are confident in what you're going to do. So it's like you know what can happen from this. I'm so insecure you know right now. Yeah. You know what can happen. It's like I know... If this go well, I know what this could potentially do. Usually it's just like I'm just I'm practicing to get to this moment. That's what you that's what you're feeling. I've been practicing to get to this moment. And now I'm at this moment. And what if I can't come up to this moment? What if I fail? That's what you're feeling. But it's okay to feel that way, bro. Feel it. Go through all the feelings. And then once you balance yourself back out and go in there and, you know, put your heart in it. That's yeah. that's all you can do, bro. You know right. me, I'm all about mental health right you're now, right, bro. It's cool. Right. That's why that's cry why that, I chose to tell you. Stuff out, that's why I chose to tell you. Bro. Now I'm a crying black, cop. I'm a, black I'm a crying man cop. Cry. <laughs> black <laughs> man cry, bro. It's all good. I'm just saying. On the funnier you know, note, out. on the funnier note of my fear, I'm also very, very terrified to fly. Oh, mm-hmm. man, I'm terrified to fly alone. Yeah, you are scared to fly. I'm super scared to fly alone. Nobody going with me. Yeah. Okay, anyway. listen. I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm, I tell you, what. I know that's some baby stuff. I shouldn't be this at big age and be that scared of this. But no, the flying gonna be good. You'll be good. I love flying, and around. I know I get I'm over. Gonna it. Gonna as soon as I'm in the there, scary I'm done. part when you're gonna get there is when you get to Vegas. That's gonna be the scary part. <laughs> Being by yourself in Vegas is the scary part. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> With a little change. With a little change in your pocket is scary, bro. <laughs> you, you you talking about life changing? <laughs> hey, hey, I want to change too much. <laughs> Change your health and everything. Oh, man. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah. 
But no, nah, it's it's gonna be fun. Though. I'm I just know this the I, I haven't been nervous to do something, especially go on the stage in a while. And I'm just yeah. I just I'm without a plan, that anxiety, all of that. But you're right, I'll get over it. And you're right. Is you you 100 percent right. You ain't said nothing wrong. It's gonna be a W either way. If I go out there and I don't go on stage and I just get to be around in that environment that I never been in before, is learning in that. It's learning in being in a place you never. It's learning in getting. It's, this, it's just you right. This region. You're right. You good. Just being in a different. You know what I'm saying. Part of the, the states and getting your name out there. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah, I'll be. See once you I'll see once you right. look at it. This is what I'm working on myself. This is one of the therapy queens talking, right? When you try to find the positives in even the most negative situation, it's good for you. Now, I'm struggling with this in certain elements, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but in other things, I try to find, like, the positives and stuff versus, like, let me harp on the negatives, which I think I've been working on this for a while, but, like, now I'm just way more conscious of it. But, like, it's a, it's a lot of positives in that. Even if it don't go to the awesome and great way, it's just a lot of things you can take from that. A lot of things that's going to make you a better person. It's a, it's a better experience. You can say, I experienced that. If somebody else bring it up, you can say, yeah, one year I went there, I met this person. Like you, It's just a lot of things that can happen positive from that, even if it ain't the like astronomical thing. It's just yeah. like things that you can grow nah, from. Nah, 100%. And you, might, you might find us a sponsor for the for the podcast hey, or whatever. You, never like, know. you know what I'm saying? You never know. Like, it can be something hey, else. Let them know, let them know about that 15000 I'm proud of that. Yeah. Hey, shout out to y'all too. I seen y'all comments and y'all encouragement. That mean a lot too, for real. That that um that don't go unnoticed, and I appreciate y'all saying that because y'all don't have to. So I appreciate everybody and all y'all kind words. And I'm definitely gonna go back and read them too. So see, and this was great content. Because <laughs> I be have friends, they be like, man, I like when y'all be talking about like real serious stuff too. Like that stuff be good stuff. See, real good. I feel like that was a, a good segment right there before we get into probably a bunch of effery. I think that that was a great moment for you, Craig. All right, y'all. <laughs> Shout out Hi, y'all. to y'all. I mean, I don't, I don't those, those are my comedian friends. They, oh, okay. they comedian bad. Friends. My bad. We on live. I'm his, we I'm his black friend. On. I'm the really black friend. Well, you said it was yep. okay. Of course it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> y'all good. I'm going to try to get to the open mic, too, tonight. Oh, hell yeah. For sure. <laughs> See you guys. Yep. See you later. Well, actually, I won't be going to the open mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, on, it's on my way to where I'm going.